Ladies and gentlemen, meet your new hero, Bob Holter. Holter deserves a round of applause from animal lovers around the world because of his actions in Griffith, Indiana recently. He believes an act of divine intervention that led to the happenings of this cold winter night. Normally, Holter drives two miles to a local store, but this particular night, he decided to take a walk. And because of this, things could have turned out much differently. I usually drive. That night I decided I needed some exercise, Holter told the dodo. As Holter was walking, he began to cross a bridge, but noticed a noise, a heartbreaking, sad noise. The noise stopped him in his tracks, and he knew something must be wrong. It was a sound unlike anything he had heard before, a cry of distress and despair. I was looking at the water and the land, but I didn't see anything. I just heard it. I walked back, and I walked around and looked. The cries continued, but he couldn't pinpoint where they were coming from, so Holter got on his hands and knees, down into the culvert, determined to figure out what was going on. Holter was searching blindly in the dark, but he knew that someone or something needed his help. I got my flashlight out because I always carry one with me, Holter said. I got to the bottom and I finally see him. Soon Holter saw two scared and desperate eyes staring back at him. It was a small little puppy shivering in the cold. Not only was he shocked to see such a sweet puppy, he also noticed something else that made his heart drop to the floor. Upon getting closer, he saw that the pup's poor muzzle was taped shut wrapped tightly with electrical tape. I'm like, oh crap, Holter said. Knowing he had to act quickly, Holter rushed the terrified puppy to Griffith Animal Hospital. His fingers were crossed that they would still be open at this time of night. I just threw him in my jacket, crawled up, and started hoofing it to the animal hospital, he said. Holter pushed through the hospital doors with the puppy in his arms. Lori Kovovich will never have forget this, as she says it's etched in her mind. She works at Griffith Animal Hospital as the manager. I was out of my chair and in the lobby to get him in seconds, Kovovich told the dodo. Completely appalled by what she saw, Kovovich took the puppy and ran with him back to the vet staff. She didn't have time to ask Holter what happened or where the puppy was found. Holter didn't expect a thank you. He was just happy that the sweet puppy was in good hands. He continued on with his evening and headed to his original destination. The vet staff moved the tape and did a medical evaluation. Their hearts dropped when they realized the tape must have been there for days. Once removing the tape, they discovered his skin was badly damaged and determined he must have been about four months old. Not to mention, after an x-ray, they discovered the poor little guy had a broken leg. The staff treated him with antibiotics and ointment and gave him a nice comfy bed with toys. His leg, which they assumed came from when he was tossed off the bridge, would require surgery. Kovovich was devastated by what she saw that night and took to Facebook saying, I'm in my 30 years of work here. I never saw this in real life. The Facebook post quickly spread amongst the local residents and caught the eye of Mary Whitting. She and her husband were longtime clients of the vet clinic and recently lost a beloved dog. I thought, that cute little face, he needs me. I can give him 24-7 love and I need him, Whitting told the dodo. As soon as the Whitting family went to the shelter, they fell in love with the puppy. They adopted him immediately and named him Louie. The Whittings had no idea who had saved the puppy. His identity was a mystery. Kovovich was caught up in the moment and was upset he hadn't gotten the name or number. But soon Holter's niece happened to see the Facebook post. She knew that her uncle had to reach out to confirm his identity, plus a reunion was in order. Holter and his niece organized a reunion with Louie and his new family and the dog's reaction is nothing short of priceless. I was awestruck because I didn't think he remembered me, Holter said. They sat him down and he ran right to me. Louis was overwhelmed at the sight of his rescuer and smothered Holter with lots of wet kisses and love. Holter was ecstatic that the sweet dog remembered him and thought his new loving family would treat him right. Despite rescuing Louis, Holter can't help but think about what would have happened to Louis if he didn't decide to take a walk that night. It makes me sick to think that someone would do this to anyone, to be honest with you. We all have our calling though, Holter says. I'm going to have to walk more often, but I sure don't want to find more dogs under the bridge. All we know is that we're thankful for Holter and couldn't be happier for little Louie and his family. Please share this with your friends and family.